Dwight Powell, R.J. Barrett, Kyle Alexander, Kelly Olenek, Zach Fires, Solano, Victor Lee is number five, Andres Feliz, Eloy specifically, the way they uh, took on Spain and, and won that game here in Granada. Well, you'll never get excited about it. This is a great team, and they're just a week away from the start of the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Well, hello, everybody. If you're just joining us, we are underway here in Granada, Spain, and a little bit of an infraction with the opening tip. So Canada are going to start wearing the red, attacking the basket to the right on your screen. Kelly Olenek has always been around a long time, hasn't he? Remember him from the FIBA Basketball World Cup in 2010. And I'm back when he was a youngster. Here is... Powell scoring the first two points of the game. He had a great performance yesterday. Just uh, so active. And again, growing his stature with the Dallas Mavericks. And nice sharing of the basketball. Vargas goes up, though, has it taken away. Boucher spins. Puts it down low, down to the corner. Jay gets it back out to Shea. Jay goes as Alexander spins and just gets the backboard. Corner three. And another rebound to Powell. Promises to be a big night for him, I think, on the boards. And the dunk. Well, that's going to be a big night all over for Dwight Powell. Already four points for him. And the three-point shot is good for you-know-who. Doesn't mess around, comes right out. And he introduces himself to international basketball with the three-pointer. Just uh, brings a different dynamic to this Dominican Republic team with Carl Anthony Towns in the lineup. Here's R.J. Barrett. Boy, how, how good was he in crunch time last night against Spain? It's almost not fair having him in your lineup the way he can back you know, the opponents down. It's back to the basket game, but he can just do it all. Uh, Towns tries to get it down low. Ball goes out of bounds. That was Powell. And with his dunk. Barrett takes the bump and the whistle blows and the foul on Lees. And Victor Lees, the heart and soul, really, of this Dominican Republic team. Here he is trying to stay in front of R.J. Barrett. A little bit of rim protection coming from behind, but the foul had already been committed, and R.J. Barrett goes to the line, and this is the first. Takes his time and makes the second. Get up early against the Dominican Republic. Penetration back outside. It's in a foul call on Barrett. I think he thought there was going to be a traveling call. So, Quinones is not shooting, so no free throws. Well, same spot for Carl Anthony Towns, same result. I think that's where he's been working out this summer. a few threes from that very spot because he has knocked down a couple already and here is the Dominican Republic coming up and getting the steal and Carl Anthony Towns trying again but it goes off the back of the rim the back of the iron and here's Powell running the floor well okay Dwight it's okay to let everybody else score as well but he's off to a flyer tonight And a 
Little Brooks. Getting physical with a reach, push. And uh, Carlin to Towns, his pass intercepted. There goes Barrett. Shea wide open. You can count it. Nope. Doesn't drop, but the long rebound goes to Canada. Now uh, the three point shot is good for Brooks. Vargas from the corner over Kelly Olenek. He has been around in this team. He was back in that Dominican team that competed 2014. Here's Kelly Olenek. And I believe he hands it off. Carl Anthony Towns drives in. Wow. I mean, you know, people talk about him being a unique talent, and we've already seen his incredible ability. Jump shooting, putting on the deck, getting to the basket, shot blocking. And Anthony Towns goes out of bounds. It's interesting, he goes to his right hand here on the left side of the basket. Shea Gilgis Alexander, he is just smooth. This is the shot that Barrett comes in with the rebound, attacks the basket, and is fouled. Towns goes out. The foul's on Liz. And Angel Delgado now comes into the game. I'm playing in Europe, so that famous career, obviously, at Seton Hall. Canada and you think I don't want to get too far ahead of us here but you just think about the possibilities with this team I mean it's you got Barrett Shea Gilgis Alexander we got two legitimate contenders you know for awards at the end of the tournament if Canada does well those two guys they don't take a back seat to anybody here is a little turnaround Eloy Vargas missing and that there it is into the paint, back outside Kelly Olenek, nobody within a country mile of him, but he misses. Feliz into the paint, and it goes in. Delgado, his first two points, right after checking in. And Canada with a little bit of a battle here. Bounce pass, and uh, Powell once again finds himself going to the free throw line. Well, that was a nice handoff by Feliz. Makes the first. So Canada winning that game last night, 85 to 80. 
see, Germany, 113 to 112. That was to win the Super Cup in Hamburg. They really thumped the Tall Blacks of New Zealand, 107 to 76. And of course, they opened up with that loss to, uh, to Germany back on August 9th. So they've been, they've been racking up the game, racking up. You know, they're not just playing pansies, they're playing good teams. No offense to the pansies out there. Here is the drive. And the basket is good for the Dominicans. So they're hanging around. Excellent work. Figueroa, Lionel Figueroa. It's his first bucket. Here's Shea, Gilgis Alexander. Boy, pick your poison with him. I mean, what, how do you stop him? You go out and guard him, he goes past you. You double him, he's gonna find the open man. Nice pass to Figueroa, and he gets in there and scores as well. Dylan Brooks, his second bucket. So he's got five points. He'll be monitoring his progress, no doubt, in Houston, where he's going to be playing next season. And I think the Dominicans think that they've still got the basketball. Yeah, how do you stop that? Well, the answer is you don't. You just hope he misses. Pena's in the game, number zero for the Dominican Republic. Three-point shot. Let's go for the basketball to get it back. You can hear the Dominican fans in here making a lot of noise. And Lou Dort, who's checked into the game, gets his hand on that one and goes out of bounds. So it'll be eight seconds on the shot clock. Montero inbound of the basketball. Truly spectacular in the America's qualifiers for the Dominican Republic. Pena, this is everything. Brooks, you don't want to step in front of that. He gets it to the corner. Lou Dort. Brooks again. Kelly Linick gets it back outside to Powell. Brooks a long way out. That is good. You can count it. Great start for Dylan Brooks. Eight points. Pena from downtown. Antonio Pena already lost a couple of threes. Here's Lou Dort driving in and just uh, nobody gonna stop that. Just got that such a low center of gravity, just so strong. Strong leg, strong upper body. Nice turn from Delgado. Just as a reminder, Canada, as Powell goes out. And we see Lennon going out as well. Kyle Alexander checks in. Brooks. And Brooks stays with it. Oh boy. Everybody's competing with Cannon on the boards right now. Into the corner it goes, a three point shot. And I think Dominican Republic riding their luck a little bit right now because Canada getting some open looks. They're just not knocking them down. The runner. So Figueroa. And 
Dort loses it out of bounds. Montreal native. Delgado takes a seat. And we'll see if the Dominican Republic hold it for one last shot here. Or if Canada will let them. And pass it back outside. Pena for three. Execution to perfection right at the end. And Pena gives the Dominican Republic a 27-26 lead over Canada at the end of the first quarter. Well, two threes for Pena. And as his three falls, we just remember that Canada missed quite a few from outside. Action coming your way on courtside 1891. And for more information about that, go to courtside 1891 and check it out. Figaro missing it from deep. Trayvon Haynes rebounds it. It's up the floor. Boy, he is. I thought he looked good last night as well. And how about that throwdown for Canada? And Kyle Alexander. Nice agility. Putting his team back in front. Bounce pass. Wonderful play from the Dominican Republic. Great patience. And Figueroa. I think I could think of a good little uh, phrase for him the next time he scores. Oh, beautiful behind the back pass. And the help defense comes. But Figueroa fouls Kyle Alexander. Look at that. Slick as you like. And that was the previous trip with Alexander, the beneficiary, catching the pass, going up and dunking it. season with Valencia Basket in Spain. Kyle Alexander he misses both. And Delgado. Soft touch from the big fella. And this Dominican team, you know, you talk about the importance of the friendlies, the warm-up games. And I think from the Dominican Republic side, you know, they can gain a lot of confidence tonight with a good performance against this Canada team that everybody's talking about. Dort, left wide open. Now Montero. Figueroa. And Dort rebounds. See if Canada can get something in transition. Dominicans get back. And that pass down low and Montero battling away for position commits the foul. So Carl Anthony Towns is going to come back in. And he definitely had his hands on the Canadian, on Edgem. Good to see that Edgem didn't uh, get hurt last night. He went down hard on a fast break. Kind of limped over to the bench. Trayvon Haynes inbounds the basketball. Alexander hands it off to Dort. A little bit closer, but still same result. Haynes again. His pass stolen. Three turnovers. 
for Canada. Carl Anthony Towns, and he earns a trip to the free throw line. Edgem, looks like he picked up the foul. Yep. Uh, it's just great seeing Edgem in this team. He's been one of these real loyal servants to Canada. You know, the, you know, going back to the America's qualifiers for the, the last FIBA Basketball World Cup. And there was no doubting his toughness. I think more than anything, that's what he brings to this team. And Jordi Fernandez. Must be thinking what's going on here. Dominican fans. There's just quite a few Dominican uh, people from the Dominican Republic that reside in Spain. So this is a big moment for them to go out and watch their national team. Trey Bell Haynes from downtown. <laughs> Trey Bell Haynes is just so graceful. Again, Carl Anthony Towns into the corner, the three point shot. Now the rebound, and Montero drives in, gets rejected by Alexander. Oh, nice Euro step. So Alexander Walker showing us his quickness. Look at this. Sees his way to the basket and just kind of knifes his way in there, lays it up and in. So timeout on the floor here in Granada. Alexander's dunk coming from the baseline. This Dominican team playing against Angola, Philippines, and Italy in Group A. I think it's a really good draw for them because they cross over as well with South Sudan, Serbia, China, Puerto Rico, the top two teams that come out of that group, Group B. So the possibilities are there for this Dominican Republic team. And you consider what, what Canada have to do. I mean, <laughs> they have got Yeoman's work in Group H with France, Latvia, Lebanon. And then if they finish in the top two, they'll cross over with uh, the top two from Group G, which is where Spain and Brazil are, along with Iran and Cote d'Ivoire. So that's some, some hard games ahead. Carl Anthony Towns, are you kidding me? Goodness me. Well, he said he was excited about playing for this Dominican Republic team for the first time in 10 years. and. Judging from his start tonight, he was not lying. He is honest. Montero almost lost it. Here is a wide open look. And again, the ball falls to Delgado. Solano drives in. You can count it. And one coming for Solano. He has got some hops. We saw a little bit of it on this play. Look at Towns. It's not like the shot clock was winding down. He just decided to take it. You can see he enjoyed that moment. 
So Treybell Haynes uh, picks up the personal. And again, so many plaudits, so many great things that everybody, myself included, saying about Canada. And I think it feels like Dominican Republic have been hearing a lot of this stuff. And they've come out to really make a statement tonight against Canada. Here's Dort. And I think that was going to be a lob, and it was a little bit short or behind Powell. Not sure what happened there. And Towns chases it down. It's a backcourt violation. The Dominican saw that the Canadians had touched the basketball. So Barrett's coming back in. Here it is again. Watch. I mean, it was definitely, you know, if you slowed that down and looked at it, it's kind of hard to figure out. I guess that did go off of the Dominicans, but anyway, just a warm-up game. Here's uh, Olenek. Shot clock about to expire, and great defense from the Dominican Republic, but a foul called on Feliz. Andres Feliz. Yes. So, three free throws coming for Shea Gilgis Alexander. <laughs> this is the second one. But it's great to see Carl Anthony Towns healthy, playing, and out here with his national team. And gosh knows. Shea Gilgis Alexander making just one of the three free throws. Solano spins, fades. Barrett lost the handle, but it goes to Shea Gilgis Alexander, and he's fouled by Solano. Brooks pulls up. Good job, Feliz. And a little bit of uh, afters there with Barrett and Feliz. <laughs> the referee is having to calm things down a little bit. Watch Feliz as he gets into the lane. Oh. It looked kind of like Feliz actually kind of threw his left arm at one of the Canada players. But this is their style. They like to come out and challenge the world. Another foul has been called. Carl Anthony Towns. This time he loses it. He was wanting a foul to be called. Not in international basketball, not on that one. Here's Olenek. Puts it up. And the whistle blows, and a foul has been called. But, I mean, you know, speaking objectively, I'm a huge fan of uh, both of these programs, and I love seeing the fight and the attitude 
in this Dominican team because they are not backing down against Canada who just have so many expectations around them this summer for obvious reasons. And this is a challenge that the Dominican Republic really enjoys. They're embracing it. Here's a Linux. With the stripe. Makes the first. And Alenic gets both to go down. So once again, it's a two-point game, and those are, in fact, the first two points for Kelly Alenic. And a foul before the shot. Well, the Dominican Republic had fallen to Puerto Rico. There's Solano goes out. Get some high fives and low fives. And they'd fallen to Latvia as well at the Arena Riga. So they want to get that winning feeling, especially with Towns tonight. And they're putting up a good fight here against Canada. They lead it 39-36. Just under four minutes remaining in this first half. Good job, Feliz. Gilgis Alexander gets it back. Good work from Olenek to tap it to his teammate. And Eloy Vargas with the hand check. So second consecutive trip to the line for Kelly Olenek. And he makes both. Back to 2010 at the, the World Cup in Turkey, and Olenek averaged 8.2 points per game. 13 years later, here is a great follow for Towns and pushes the lead back up to four, and he's got 15. Barrett goes up strong and draws the foul. Quinones. Yeah, got him on the shoulder. RJ Barrett misses the first. Trying to follow in his father's footsteps, make it to the Olympics. Rowan Barrett playing back in 2000, 2000 games in Sydney. Oh, nice pass, Towns. Turn around, Quinones. Here goes Barrett and goes up strong. And again, that's uh, he has got so much strength. He can post up, he can post up everybody. I mean, he's not afraid to go up against anyone. Here is moving screen, gives it back to Canada. Look at that pass from Towns. And then that was. Vargas with the hard pick or the hard screen on Shea. 
Gilgis Alexander. Dylan Brooks drives in. Oh, boy, what a soft touch off the glass from Dylan Brooks. Pulling Canada to within two. Towns. And a charge. Kelly Linick already had position. This was Brooks. What a finish this is. He put that halfway up the, uh, the backboard. Off the glass and in. Well, which coach is happy right now? Che Garcia or Jordy Fernandez? I mean, it's... Uh, having watched Canada play last night, I would have thought they would have been a little bit further ahead by now. Here's Olenek going out and missing. Quinones missing and chance to run. Dominican fans wanted to push on Barrett. And Barrett just incredible strength and ability to keep his handle. Just goes in and scores and gets to the line. And uh, all but does an incredible Hulk invitation after. Look at this. Oh, just a tremendous step. So Feliz... Not very Felice right now. Not very happy to have committed the foul there with a minute and a half remaining in the first half. And Barrett, just like he did last night, making a real difference here for Canada, which comes as no surprise. Montero checks back into the game. And Felice goes out. Quinones to the corner. Oh, and there it fouls the three-point shooter. So I believe it's Victor Leeds who's going to be going to the line. R.J. Barrett, Barrett looking over at the referee and saying he's, he flopped. But the referee's looking to see if you hit him or if you kind of invade his landing space. It really is a, something that they're monitoring. But you know, there's also the art of selling the foul. And it is, we'll get one more. So we're knotted. We are right where we started, all even, 45 apiece. Liz does make the, sec uh, the third, rather, so he makes two of the three. Barrett. Oh, nice handoff. Boy, Powell can't believe he missed that. Here's Barrett for three. Powell still can't believe he missed it. Oh, boy. Lovely finish from Quinones. He's a nice player. And I'm not sure how many people are familiar with him coming into this uh, this World Cup. There's Shea shows the way. Silky smooth. Can will try to hold it for the last shot. Barrett brings it up. And he loses his handle. He gets it back. He puts it up. And just a little short. So at the end of uh, 20 hard minutes here in Granada, Canada, facing a really determined Dominican Republic team. 
The Dominican Republic lead it. 48 to 47. They're dancing over in the stands. That was a graceful move by Quinones. Forty-eight, forty-seven, Dominicana for the Dominican Republic on top of Canada at halftime. So he'll be with them this season. And Phil Scrub also in the game. Here he is. Hands the ball off. Number Twenty-three. I love Phil Scrub. Had a great season with Obradoro in Spain. He's going to Turkey next year. Botches are here at college. And Canada missing with their first attempt of the second half. Feliz with the shot clock winding down. Carl Anthony Towns gets rid of it. And one. Victor Lees. Well, it must have been just a little bit of a bump from Dork. Didn't see too much there. So he completes the three point play and a good start to the second half for. Dominican Republic. Scrub gets it to Edie. And the big hook from the big fella. Uh, seven feet, four inches. The Purdue Boilermaker, one of the premier players in college basketball. In America, Quinones over to Delgado, and uh, Delgado misses everything. I mean, if he keeps the ball up, he's able to turn like that, and if he can make that shot, I mean, that's unstoppable. Here's a Great defense. Canada still has 10 seconds on the shot clock. And you look at Quinone, it's all 22 years old of him. And what kind of difference is he going to make for this Dominican team? Played for them at the FIBA Under 18 America's Championship or America's Cup several years ago. And now he's with the senior team and definitely has the quality to be in this team. Alexander Walker drives in. And Quinones taking an exception. Well, it's pretty good defense. But you know what? They called it at the other end as well when Liz drove from the corner. Alexander Walker can tie it, and he does not. Andres Feliz going up against Phil Scrub. Towns. And no success going up against Melvin Edgem, but he does draw the foul. Legend coming off that great season in Spain with Unicaja Malaga, won the Copa del Rey, the King's Cup. Also made it to the Basketball Champions League Final Four where they actually had a disappointing finish. Fourth, they were the host. But nevertheless, just an outstanding season for Unicaja. And uh, Edgen was a big part of that. 
So Towns. Takes his time in the second and makes it. Alexander Walker gets all the way in, but short, and that allows the Dominican Republic to run. Quinones catches it. Now he drives in to the corner. Feliz. Scrub left opens from the back of the rim. And Delgado rebounds the miss. Bounce pass to Quinones. Canada with numbers. Alexander Walker pulls up and nails the three. Canada back in front. Him trying to stay in front of Towns. And Edie comes over a little bit of help defense. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I think even Towns was a little bit surprised that his shot got swatted the way that he did by, by Edie. Towns. Scrub rebounds it and runs. Edgem keeps it, goes hard, and he draws the foul from Carl Anthony Towns. Edgem definitely uh, feeling, uh, feeling it like he really wants to take it right at Carl Anthony Towns. So two fouls on Towns. Well, Edie does a good job getting the offensive rebound. Dort over to Edgem. Dort puts it up. You can count it, three-pointer. And Canada go up by six. Fouls Towns long way from the basket. That's the three pointer from Dort. So now Thomas Scrub checks in. So Edgem goes out. Three-point shot if it goes, but it doesn't. And Alexander Walker not able to bring it down. Nice drive. I thought he might have taken an extra step there, but he uh, put that on a platter for Delgado. And Towns almost getting the steal. Scrub gets it to his brother. Now the ball goes to Thomas Scrub. 
Through to Alexander Walker. Edie keeps it alive. And Delgado comes down with the basketball. Much to the delight of uh, a few hundred Dominican fans here in the house tonight. Quinones trying to take on Thomas Scrub. And Carl Anthony Towns loses it. Hands it off. And nice sharing of the basketball from Canada. Feliz for three. He looks at the ref as if to say, I right, hit as well. So back to a three point game, Canada. Seven threes for the Dominican Republic. Scrub to Edie. And Edie travels. That was the previous play, the handoff. And Scrub, Thomas Scrub laid it up and in. So, Dominican Republic can close the gap to one, maybe even tie it with a three. That three-pointer goes in and out. So Thomas Scrub in there, locked up with Eloy Vargas and they called the foul on Scrub. Vargas plays some college basketball at Kentucky, makes the first. Mikhail Alexander comes back into the game. And just, Vargas makes just one of two. So Canada would like to put some distance between themselves with this uh, second unit in. Alexander walking, Walker missing it, but there's a great offensive rebound. But then Alexander is, Alexander Walker's cousin uh, doesn't get it to drop. Thomas Scrub, a little bit long. Feliz, off to the races. And you can count that, and one. Great hustle down the floor from Figueroa. So in fact, I think the foul's on uh, Phil Scrub. So the three-point play for Figueroa puts Dominican Republic on top now. Trey Bell Haynes back in the game, running the point. Drives in, gets swatted out of bounds by Vargas. Not in my house here in Granada. <laughs> That's fancy. Good drive by Trey Bell Haynes, but just uh, Terrific defense by Vargas. Dort gets in. Oh boy, tough move from Lou Dort.
Feliz backing up into the paint. Pena. Uh, Pena lost sight of the clock there. He needs to put that one up. That was a rejection from Vargas. Door it again. He just scored to see if he can get another two. And great scrapping away from Kyle Alexander. And he is fouled. Montero back into the game. Hey, folks, don't forget courtside 1891. For all your FIBA live streaming, that's where you want to be to not only watch the final stages of the Olympic pre-qualifiers, uh, but also warm-up games for the World Cup, like Germany, Greece tomorrow, USA, Germany as well coming up, Japan, Slovenia, France, Australia, Brazil, Serbia, and a lot more. Here is good defense, but the foul has been called. Much to the uh, disagreement. Here it is again. Look at this. Yeah, I think they might have missed that one. So Alexander missing the first. This is the second. Ball don't lie. Here's Trayvon Haynes. He misses from deep. Another long rebound. Kenny Cherry also in for Canada. I don't know what it is about Che Garcia, but here is again that block. But Garcia, he really connected well with Venezuela when he was their coach, and he just seems to have a strong connection with this Dominican Republic team. And that was the, uh, the foul. I think they got the fans riled because it looked pretty clean to me. Well, ludor has been really active in this third quarter, and he laid the ball off there for Alexander. Those, uh, those fans are really enjoying the moment, aren't they? 62-61, Canada on top. They've got possession. And right at the end of the shot clock, no good. Figueroa rebounds it, and here comes the Dominicans. Delgado backing his way up. Quinones, shot clock winding down. He drives, gets the foul called on Trey Bell Haynes.
But all it really almost feels like as you look at this uh, Dominican team. I know we've got some of the you know the starters out for Canada, but with Quinones in there, it feels like Montero, who has really emerged as a key player in the qualifiers, is almost taking on a more peripheral role. Peripheral role. So he's Quinones is going to sit down now. Mendoza checks back in. Rigoberto, Mendoza. And now Canada go back to work, trailing by a point. Alexander Walker comes out, misses. Scrub kept it alive. He puts it up. Here's Mendoza. Traveling. Stepped out of bounds. Figueroa. So just a reminder, folks, keep up with all the basketball action. Here is the nice little shot from that was Alexander Walker. No, that's Trey Bell Haynes. Excuse me. He's got five points. Mendoza for three. Wow, Dominican Republic back in front. First basket of the game for Mendoza. And now the whistle blows. And Rigoberto Mendoza whistled for the foul. Boy, he made that shot with the hand in his face. But then he commits the foul and Dort comes back in. He cherry goes out. So Trey Bell Haynes with seven points ties it up. Final seconds, third quarter. And good look, but Mendoza cannot get it to drop. Three quarters in the books. And we're all square here between the Dominican Republic and Canada in Granada, Spain. Sixty-six apiece, and you look at the next week, like Germany, Greece tomorrow night, also USA, Germany, which is coming up after that, and Japan, Slovenia, France, Australia, Brazil, Serbia. So go to courtside 1891, or you can download it into your smartphone. You can get it in the Apple Store or on Google Play. Here is... The reach and the foul all by Solano. So Jerry back in the game. Nice pass. Alexander's not going to miss that one. Good job, Cherry. Mendoza to Montero, that's it. Well, been waiting on him to make something tonight. He takes it and just shows you right there. He is uh, not afraid of the moment. Obviously, it's a warm-up game, but 
He's just put his team back in front. And the basketball batted out of bounds and goes back over to the Dominican Republic. So there is Montero. And again, he was sensational in the America's qualifiers and especially in that crunch game against Argentina that the Dominican Republic won to punch their ticket and to knock Argentina out of Yeah, they're, see, they're trying to figure out whose ball it is. So Canada basketball. Terry's going to inbound it. Canada warming up for the FIBA Basketball World Cup. So are the Dominican Republic, which uh, gets underway next week. Pass to the corner. Alexander Walker missing. And into the paint, and the basket's good. Delgado. Good job, hustling, scrub, comes up with the basketball, doesn't give up on it. And the foul called on the Dominican Republic. This is on Mendoza. Jump shot not there. You can see the uh, Delgado with the rebound. Oh, and they call the block on Alexander. Well, folks, if you want to set your, put it in your calendar as we look at the replay here. So Canada are going to be opening up in Jakarta first game against France. That'll be on October 25th. After that, they will face Lebanon, the Cedars. That'll be on August 27th, Sunday. And then on Tuesday, they will go up against Latvia. And the drive and the basket is good. Mendoza and the Dominican Republic go up by five points. Alexander Walker's pass gets away and driving in and dunking it home is Figueroa and look at him celebrate. Well, you know what? I mean, speaking as a neutral, you got to love the uh, the passion 
that these players are showing right now because because of all these fans here that have turned out to support them tonight. I mean, they're not going to win anything tonight, uh, but they are enjoying the moment. Timeout has been called. Well, this was the last play and uh, the dunk. And look at Figueroa, he was enjoying it. Fouled on the play, he's got a chance for a three-point play. So Edie back in the game. So it is this is the biggest lead of the game for the Dominican Republic. They're going by eight points on Canada here. Seven minutes remaining. You heard over there on the Canada bench, somebody say, let's go out and make our run. Oh. And I think Edie wanted to dunk that, but changed his mind and ended up missing the shot. How about Figueroa? He scored his team's last five points. He's got 16 in the game. Edie in the paint. And Solano rebounds and runs and holds it up. Figaro again in the paint. Boy, he, he's on fire right now. He can't be stopped. Seven consecutive points. He now has 18. Short foul by Figueroa. 5.42 remaining. You know, with Figueroa, with um, Quinones, Towns, about three guys looking, you know, really provide some offense for this. For this Dominican Republic team, Dort goes to the line, makes the first. Yeah. Dort makes the second. I mean, you, you don't. You know, these these are important minutes for these guys on the court right now for Canada, too. You, don't forget, you know, these guys are... I don't think they they all have locks on their spots in the team. So, they need to show something. Plenty of incentive to come back hard against this Dominican team right now. Solano. Dort has it knocked out of his hands by Figueroa.
Drive in, Dort, and scores. He's now scored Canada's last four points. Figueroa rebounds it, and... So Delgado goes out and Carl Anthony Towns comes back in. So a big opportunity here for Edie to go up against Towns. Stepping back, Haynes missing. Able to pick up the miss, the miss and lays it up and in. Trey Bell Haynes announces a six point game. Towns gets blocked by Edie. To a scrub. Spins, gets in, tries to make the pass, goes down. It's going to be helped up by Felice and Edie. Dort. Dort from downtown. Towns fades back. Well, big man, soft touch. Drifting in and scoring Haynes. So again, gets it back to a six point game. Towns pass sails over the head of Montero. Excellent work from Haynes. Took what took what they gave him. So Canada, who were reeling a little bit, can now get closer and look at that. Edie is not going to miss the Zach attack. Throws it down on the lob. And now it's a four-point game. It kind of makes you wonder why we don't see a little bit more of that. Oh boy, Mendoza takes the punishment, still makes the shot. And Dominicans foul in the backcourt, Figueroa. Here's Haynes again. And Towns goes down in a clump. Battling away with Edie and uh, his team gets the ball back.
Well, again, the Dominicans had lost their first two games, so if they can get a win tonight, this will lift the spirits a little bit for them, especially uh, going up against Canada. But the drive with Figueroa is good. He's going to be playing for German champions Ulm next year, which has been very good for South American players, especially Brazilians. Now the ball goes off of Towns. Figueroa has been everywhere in this fourth quarter. Trevo Haynes inbounds it. Dort from downtown. Canada have not shot it brilliantly tonight from deep. Haynes hands it off to Dort. And Dort. Knows he probably had a chance for an M1 there. Couldn't get it to go, though, and at least the clock stops for Canada. So the former Arizona State Sun Devil now plays for the Thunder. Goes up to the line. And rattles out. Uh, again, most of the starters sitting on the bench here in the second half. Fernandez given some of the other guys a chance to play. So, you know, the, the score line is uh, perhaps a little deceiving, but it is definitely Canada. And there's a lot of talent out there. And right now they're getting beat by the Dominican Republic by seven. Five on the shot clock. Feliz. And Figueroa, if he'd made that one, I wouldn't have been surprised. But here's Trey Bell Haynes. Oh, nice play, Trey Bell Haynes. Oh, they can knock it off the rim. He didn't drop it. He didn't get to go. Now Trey Bell Haynes gets it. Good D from Dort. Dort has it. Long three. Dort gets the rebound. And he is found fouled by Towns. So door back of the line. Give the big minutes here in the fourth quarter. Second half with Lens Dort. Just one of two, but he follows up the miss, gets it back. Scrub. Phil Scrub for three, a four-point trip down the floor for Canada, and they trail by just three points. I oh, love Phil Scrub, just did not hesitate. Wide open, feet set, knocks it down, and suddenly is game on once again. Hey, 
Keep the ball in the middle because they come to trap. You heard him, he knows the trap is coming from Canada. So it's interesting. You got Garcia, that obviously the Dominican Republic, got some players from that's grown up in America and really speak English. And he's uh, drifting between Spanish and English over there during the huddle. And then you got the Spanish coach for Canada speaking English. <laughs> International basketball. Fernandez has lived in the States for some time, however. Speaks very well. Here is a foul and Dort picks up the foul out on the perimeter with 41.3 seconds left. Oh. Montero will go to the line. No, he's not. Sorry, they're not even not in the bonus. One more, then they will be going to the line. Can Canada get a stop? Eight on the shot clock. Figueroa. Montero is going to let it fly from deep. Here it is. Banks. Well, the bank is open. He just made a deposit from long range. And I kind of, I didn't write him off earlier, but I said he had a diminished role, but he's actually made some plays here in the fourth quarter. Just never know if it's intentional, if it's banked in, do you? So Fernandez is now going to try to come up with a plan to get, get Canada closer here in the final minute. So 28.3 seconds left. Still time for Canada, but they've got to get a bucket here. Trayvon Haynes gets it to Phil Scrub. Trayvon Haynes for three. You can count it. Boy, that is money right there. was clutch. Trayvon Haynes has looked good here. Oh, Dominican Republic almost stepping out of bounds. And Carl Anthony Towns fouled in the backcourt by Trayvon Haynes. Well, this three-pointer, great play by Phil Scrub. Bounce pass perfect to Trayvon Haynes. Feet set and just nails it. And you know, Coach Fernandez, impressed by that. But Carl Anthony Towns effectively makes it a two possession game again, although we haven't seen a four point play tonight. I don't remember anyway. But if he makes this one, it'll be a five point lead. Still 19 seconds. And he does indeed. Yeah. 
Scrub, and Tom Scrub misses. There's Edie, though, and he is fouled on the putback with 10.1 seconds remaining. So five fouls for Carl Towns in his uh, comeback for the Dominican Republic. We'll have to watch the rest of this one from the sidelines. From the bench. And that allows Pena to come back into the game. 10.1 seconds. So if you're Canada here, you want to make both and then try to get a steal. You definitely want to make the first one, which he does. Okay. Do you foul in this warm-up game? Do you just press, try to get the steal? He makes both. Good shooting, Zach. Six points. Mendoza gets rid of it. And I guess they're not going to foul until the very end. And that pretty much is going to ice it with Montero. Eight points. Good work. Mendoza able to pass it. I mean, if you're not going to get, if you're not going to be able to trap or get any pressure on the guy in the backcourt, you got to foul him, I would think. I guess uh, maybe that wasn't the instruction. I don't know. So three-point play for Montero, Trey Belhanes quickly, and the ball deflected. So the Dominican Republic get the win tonight over Canada. Rudy Fernandez goes and shakes hands with the adversaries. And this, play, this game was played in a good spirit tonight. And honestly, the big thing is you want, you want to get your minutes. You want to get everybody some playing time. You don't want to have any injuries. And you want to run some different sets, some different plays. But I think more than anything for the Dominican Republic, you could argue this this game, getting a result tonight, getting a win might have a little bit more value for them as they